Okay, the five love languages. All right. Me and Chuck Morgan in Sunday school class went on a retreat, and they talked to us about the five love languages. You know, and it's written by little Gary Chapman, who is a doll and tiny and does, that man's probably getting in his 90s, and he does sit-ups every day. And that little thing, and I got to meet him later. He was a doll. But anyway, uh, the five love languages, if you don't know about that, you've got to get it. There's a five love, there was a five love languages for your marriage, and then there's one for your children. And you need to get that. Everybody's got a love language. And you take the test. you got to read the book and take the test. Well, you don't read the book. I didn't. But you can take the test. I like to read books about Hollywood murder. So anyway, you take the test, and then you can, and your husband takes the test, and you find out what his love language is, and he finds out what your love language is. And if you find that out, then you can feed them their love language. And then, so I can feed Chuck Morgan his love language, and then his love tank feels full. If I don't, he could go to work and be at a water fountain and some whore comes up to him and starts feeding him his love language and then he feels a tingle and then Satan swoops in. So these are the five love languages. Quality time. If, if you, you may know somebody that just wants you to sit on the couch and watch ESPN with them. Something like that. Then there's gifts. That's my sister's love language. It doesn't have to be something expensive. If you, just so you thought of her, if you buy her a card and a rose from the grocery store, she'll ball her eyes out. <laughs> and then there's words of affirmation. That's mine. But Oh, physical touch. Physical touch, which I know every woman in here is like, that's my husband. <laughs> physical touch. But it's not that kind of physical touch. We're talking about the physical, you know, when the, you know people that just want to hug you and squeeze on you and all that all the time. That's their love language is physical touch. And, but women think, oh, that's my husband's and uh, he's on me like a duck on a June bug. But that's not the, <laughs> all right, and then there's words of affirmation. That's mine. So all Chuck Morgan has to do is say, um, you look beautiful tonight. You are a good mama. That Trisha Yearwood's chicken piccata is to die for. <laughs> and then my love tank feels full. And then I'm willing to do something vulgar with him. <laughs> and then he gives me money to get my hair highlighted. <laughs> See, it works out, you know, it's God's way. And then, my husband's is acts of service. So for him to feel loved, I have to go in the garage and build a set of shelves. 